Welcome back, Corner Crawlers. It's been a minute since I filmed a pairing for the corner, so let's get to it. Um, this one is the Tobacata Vegans Mexican Red Rum. And you can see, I don't know if this is easy, but it's made like a trench on this side and then just built up a hide tower here. It's really cool. I have no idea where it is, but today we're just going to water it. Hopefully, it's molting. <laughs> Here we have our green bottle blue. It's out and made a beautiful. Home with his webs. I absolutely love the webbing they do. So this guy, I'm just gonna get the soldier fly larva ready. Throw that in there. These guys are pretty cool. I'm keeping them in the fridge so they all look dead. They're moving after a while. Not sure if this is a pupae stage. I did have one that turned into a fly. Um, so that's why I put them in the fridge. I don't know much about these guys, but I'll warm them up a bit. My fingers. Get it to wake up. Oh, there we go. There we go. Start to move ever so slowly. I'm gonna take this guy. I'm gonna toss him in. And there. Spritz it just a bit. I don't want to overdo it. This one, my son found a millipede. If you watch my shorts, let's keep that damp. I think they just eat dead plant matter. I'm not really sure, but it seems to be doing good. It's moving around there a lot. And then this one is our little centipede. Hiding under the debris. I'm throwing springtails in there. I'm not sure what it eats. But it's got a tiny, tiny head. So I'm thinking the springtails are beneficial. It might be hard to see, but it's like right there. Here we have our tailless whip scorpion. We're just spritzing him today. We'll do another feeding of him another time. It's pretty good. Then our giveaway winner has finally received his pumpkin patch. We got noticed that it's happy and healthy and arrived safe. So that's exciting. Here's our pumpkin patch right on the eye there. Just gonna get some spritz. Add 
this guy from running away. That's what this one likes to do. Very explorative. What do you think, soldier fly? Get a tiny one. Mm. I have a tiny one. I think this is about the smallest size that I have. Let's throw that in there. for the weird camera angle today. Just trying to figure out the best way to do a setup. Need to get a stand in like that. Here we have a jumping spider. This one's really cool. My son found it. We went out to a restaurant and he was collecting little walnut shells and this one was in there. So my son named him Jackpot. Oops. There he goes. If you saw that, jumped all the way to the bottom. Very feisty. Look at that threat posture. I wonder if he will eat a soldier fly larva. We'll see. Threw it in the bottom there. I've had this guy for a few days. He is all over the place. We'll see if it comes of it. And just about 24 hours later, Jackpot is taking on the soldier fly larva. It is so cool how these guys eat something so much bigger than them. I didn't realize the size difference when I put it in there. Here we have the Mexican red knee, Rocky Palma Hamori. Here's the soldier fly that, you know, pupated and hatched. I killed it before I put it in there, so I was hoping he would eat it a little bit. You can get, if you can see him, he's right there. soldier fly in there. Hopefully it'll eat it. If it doesn't, I'll take it out in the 24 hours. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I lost my lid. It is blending in. With Here we have the prized jar of dirt, also known as the OBT orange baboon, or as I like to call it, orange bitey thing. Many others like to call it. 
I wanted to say a huge thank you to everybody who subscribed in the past two weeks. I've seen so much channel growth. I am very thankful. I thank Philo Rogue for collaborating with me and a lot of my subscribers have come from him lately and I am very appreciative of everybody who has come from his channel to mine. I'm a little nervous of this guy just because they are fast and feisty. It's not likely for it to come out, but just on the off chance that it does. Just give it a spritz of water and you're not going to see him. Maybe if I, I'll wake up at 3 a.m. one morning and get a video of him, post a short or something. Oh, throw a soldier fly in there. Just gonna move. Oop. Just a little bit closer. And let's just close it up. Happy jar of dirt. And now we got the bigger, the biggins. We have here. in the dark. He's been all over the enclosure. And the colors have really popped. I'm just gonna set it down for a minute while I do this because I need both hands to get the wire dump. Oop. Get all the spring tails out of there. Rinse the water. Dump it. Hydration station. In here we have our, um, our roaches. them to stay in the egg carton. Oh no, we only have three left. Oh, we're gonna have to get more. Um, this one looks like a tasty treat. What's you in there? This one, we have our apple pelosum. Trying to form a sort of relationship. It's been all over. Every time I've tried to test it, to see if it wants to, will let me hold it, it bites. So it might not be a holdable specimen. Kind of disappointing just because it's my very first tarantula. But I can't get them all to like you or tolerate you at least. This tarantula's got emotions. Hold on. We'll throw in this one. That just fell down the hole. Hard to see. Again, sorry for the weird camera angle. was on the egg carton. I'm just gonna put you back. Oh. You 
you ever lose cockroaches in your house? away for a while. Does that from time to time. I'm not the easiest guy to see, honestly. Kind of hoping he's molten, but we'll see. feeding him if he is locked up. I don't want to cause stress. It does look like he's been around in and out. That's, that was not there a week ago. Just gonna clean that up real quick. I'm just kind of making it up as I go <laughs> to take care of them. They're super hard to kill, so don't think I'm doing too many things wrong. Let me get another look at this guy. It's just weird that I don't see him, you know? nervous when they're this small. There seems to be a big cavity here. I assume that's where he is. I hate that I have to destroy the home, but my biggest fear is a dead thing. Oh, nope, you're not dead. Found him. You know what? Let's give it a, let's give it a soldier fly. Bitsy teeny weeny. Tiny little thing. Alright, now we're done with the tinies. Officially. Come on. the arboreals. I need to get at the level. Oh, 
But I really want this ranch the cribs arboreal enclosure. already a fat rump, but it doesn't hurt to feed more. And then I can just get rid of the roaches and throw them, or get new ones. I'd like to start a colony. Maybe I should buy some nails online. Oh, there. Perfect size. That's the best part. Maybe kind of hard to see, but the roach is here upside down. And here's the tarantula, so we'll see if it turns around and eats it right away. Next up is our avicularia. Avicularia. Oh, I didn't mention this is the Caribbean Versa color here, and this is the avicularia. Avicularia. There he is. Look how beautiful he is. It's just awesome. Hmm. I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is two soldier fly larvas for this guy because he seems to really like them. I don't really care for the cockroaches. I'm always. I mean, he's eaten one cockroach maybe in the four months that I've had him. This guy here. I like to attach these guys in the arboreal webs just because they like to dig. If they can't dig, they're more likely to be found to be eaten. Zoom in there for you. No, oh, no, oh, it's just gonna do that. So you can see where I put the soldier flies. You can see here. And we'll just let that sit. Close her up, and that's caring for the corner. I do have Mama. She's, going out. She's been on a hunger strike since I got her, so I'm not going to stress her out anymore by trying to feed her. Not worth it. Alright, thank you so much for watching.